Welcome back, Fight Fans. This is the Zone Boxing Show. I go by the name of Ock. And I'm Barack the Boxing Bully. The wait is over. That's right. The Zone X Series premieres this Saturday, the 27th of August, with KSI not fighting one, but fighting two opponents in the same night. One fight fell through. Barack, I don't know whose genius idea was this. And uh, it seems dangerous, but Swarms is a guy that's not experienced. But then he's fighting a real professional fighter with seven fights way more experience than he has at the end of the night. So that's interesting. I mean, I don't know if it's a mistake, if it's a good marketing thing, Barack, uh, hey, but he's been out the ring for three years. I think it's good marketing. I think it's good marketing. On, on one hand, it sucks because he's the first one to do it. Think about this. Uh, mm. Growing up, we've heard many, many fighters say, I'll fight you both the same night and beat mm. you both. Tyson Fury just recently said it, you know, Many fighters have said this for years since I was a little kid. It's just never done. It's a fantasy. Right. KSI, who's not really in our world, our boxing world, mm -hmm. he gets to do it first. So I'm a little jealous. Don't be hate. Don't be hate on KSI. I'm, I'm, a He's a pioneer. I'm a little jealous that a, you know that a, that a seasoned boxer didn't get the chance to do something as crazy as this. But anyway, I think it's a good tool. I think it's smart. I, I think it's smart for him to fight. The YouTuber first, because you, you, more than likely you're going to beat him. You get all of that time with those other six fights with Sensei and King Kenny and all of them. And then you get to fight the Pineda last because you might just lose. But it's OK to lose at the end of the night. The only thing I don't think was cool about this whole thing was KSI saying still talking junk about Jake Paul. Because if you're talking about Jake Paul and you're not fighting him, that kind of makes you look bad. Yeah, just talk. Either. I would say he, it's smart for him to just concentrate on. Hey, I'm fighting two guys. That's it. You know, but Rod, let me let me backtrack really quick. You mentioned about you know wanting uh, this to happen in boxing. This is boxing, and when I think about all the amateur tournaments and the sparring session that fighters have, they'll fight, they'll spar 12, 14 rounds with four or five different guys. That's true. I think it can be done in a professional fight, especially if Spar a guy not taking any damage with the small gloves. Yeah, and no sparring is different than fighting, though. You no, know, I understand about the no gloves, that, but I'm no saying if, if, if you're not taking pun, if you don't take punishment in one fight, I think a fighter should be able to fight. I mean, can is capable of fighting again in the same night. I mean, that is a now, good point, but let's give credit where credit's due. It happened in the UFC, you know, okay. the tournament, tournament style. You know, I grew up in martial arts. I fought mad people in one night, you know, so UFC did the same thing. You know, Gracie would fight two, three fights in one night to get to be called the champion, you know, so it can happen. So, so is it safe to say that KSI is making history here? I mean, he's making history the first it, 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 professional yeah. boxer to fight two I, different I get, I get, I get. I guess so, but you know what? It's still separate. The Zone has it separate as the Zone X series because they understand that this is not a card full of boxers. Now, Jake Paul is somebody who came from the YouTube world, but he's a legit. He, he's trying to be a legitimate boxer. He hasn't fought one yet, but he's trying to be a legitimate boxer. He's training like one, and he's trying to get these fights. Tried to even fight Rachman, and that was commendable. You right. know, I don't know what route KSI is going to take. Just because he wants to fight, or he says he wants to fight Jake Paul, doesn't mean he wants to make a career out of this. Look, I know you I know you said it made sense to fight Swarms first, and then later on in the night fight Luis Pineda, but I don't know. I mean, I think if your condition isn't great, I would prefer to get the toughest task in front of me done first round, fresh you know, fresh off of training, dehyd uh, you know, fresh off of rehydrating myself, go out there and give my best performance. And the guy that I'm not expecting to be that much of a threat, you know, disrespect the swarms, but there's a lack of experience there. I'll take care of him later on. I mean, oh, that's how man. I would- That's scary though. That, that's scary. Yeah, maybe you, but we're, we're talking about he might lose that fight. KSI might lose that fight. You don't want to be the opening act and lose, you know, <laughs> especially when you're supposed to be the closer of the evening. So right. close at the end. I think it's better having Pineda at the end because he might lose. But how much credit can you really take away from KSI from losing to a boxer? No, I mean, you can't, you can't take really any, take any from. But I'll tell you one thing, and, and, and this is very important. This is, uh, I guess, I, I don't want to say make it or break it, but if KSI is going to continue to call Jake Paul out, and continue to attack him and, and you know more power to him he wants to create a big fight he's going to have to beat Luis Pineda because if he loses to a Luis okay. Pineda that fight goes down the drain in my opinion maybe it uh, still has know. an audience maybe uh, I don't know maybe, I don't but know. but but I feel you on that though Jake Paul is coming off of five victories right knockout victories and I know the the opponents 
have uh, you know gradually no, gotten better. Been boxes, yeah. Okay. But they've been, yeah. Listen, he's been trying to fight boxers. All right, that's true. He, he I get, out, that's the credit he, I give him. I give him that. He tried to fight boxing. Tommy Fury. But, but, tried to fight again, boxing. again, again. Um, I would prop without no disrespect to Luis Pineda, but without watching him. Don't <laughs> say it. Don't say no, it. No, no, hold on. I'm don't gonna say, say it. it. I'm gonna say it. Don't say it. I'm gonna go out on limits. Don't say it if you've never seen him fight. I, I don't care. I'm the guy, the, the guy risk wasn't here. on HBO. So what? He wasn't on I ESPN. He wasn't on the zone. Tyron Woodley is probably better than Luis Pineda. Uh, we don't know that. We don't I'm know guessing, that. I'm guessing. So I'm not taking, I'm not taking any credit away from those wins, uh, from Jake Paul's wins uh, against uh, Woodley. N nevertheless, look, off of Jake Paul, back to KSI. He has to make a statement against Pineda, who's a professional fighter with experience, in order uh -huh. to build that mega fight up, even. So it can be a bigger fight against Jake Paul. Barack, let's no, be honest. If no. he loses to Pineda, mm -hmm. I mean, how many YouTube fans and boxing fans are going to be salivating over that fight? People That's can say, oh man, there's no way that he's going to beat Jake Paul. If he looks impressive and maybe even stops Pineda, that builds that fight even no, more. No, but that's, that's a good question, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying um, he, he, he doesn't have to win. I'm saying, you're saying he has to make a statement. I'm saying just winning is a statement. So well, normally I mean in boxing, when we say a statement, we mean, All right, oh, it gotta be boxing. a dominant is, fight, gotta be a knockout. Is, this is the Zone X series, brother, right? You mentioned it earlier. So yeah. when I say statement, when I'm talking to Zone X, I mean win, all right? Oh, get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> Listen, all KSI gotta do is just win because then he has what's called bragging rights because he actually got a chance to fight a boxer and beat a boxer first. And you and, know he's gonna say that. And then to add a little extra sauce on a sandwich, he'll go on, uh, I mean, if he fights and beats Swarms, he can say that in addition to that. And I fought another guy just to, you know, yeah. to warm up. You know what would be crazy though? If KSI was to fight Tommy Fury after this. Let's say oh he beats God. Pineda and then he fights Tommy Fury. I, right, then I, we got a whole other conversation. <laughs> no, that I'm just saying, that would be kind of crazy though. That would be right. kind of crazy, you know? But listen, uh, make sure you guys, for, for this uh, a special event, this is Premier the Zone X series. There's going to be tons of fights on the cards. The pay-per-view is not $80, $90. It's going to be priced well. Don't miss it live here on The Zone. That's our show for today. Peace and love. Stay safe. We're out of here.